All right, so now that we have the document set up, one of the first things that we should do is set up the master pages. So remember up in this A master, we wanna double click one of these. So now we see we're in the master file, we can't go anywhere else. And we wanna set our page numbers before we get started on anything else. So we're gonna get the type tool. We're gonna draw it a little box. And we're not gonna put in one or two, we're going to actually insert a special character. So we're gonna to go to type, insert special character, markers, and we're gonna do current page number. I'm gonna go ahead and format this because I already know the font that I wanna use. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna drag it where I want it. So now I have my page set up on this side, but I need to do it on the other side. So I just copy and pasted that. I'm gonna right align this and I'm gonna put it on the right side. So now I have my page numbers. They just say A here, but once I go into my actual spreads, we'll be able to see the actual page numbers. So something else that I might wanna do is either on this side or on this side, I might wanna put my magazine title. So I wanna go ahead and name my magazine Beyond because I'm gonna do it over space. So we'll type beyond, I'm gonna use the font. And then drag it down here. So I'll do it on the left side, but you can pick either side. Okay, so now let's get out of the master. Let's go to the first page. And we see here, okay, it's numbered. They're all numbered, so that's good. And we even see the magazine name over here. But on the cover, maybe we don't want this actual page number on here. So it's kind of self-explanatory that, yes, this is page one. So what we wanna do is in the pages panel, over here, this little hamburger menu icon, we're gonna click on this. We're gonna go to master pages and we're gonna do hide master item. And it's only gonna do it for this page because we have page one selected but we still have all of our other ones. So that's how you set up master pages. In another video where I start putting in content, um, like photos and images, stuff like that, I'll be able to show you how we'll override some of the changes down here. So maybe we want this to be blue or white or something else based on the background image that we have in here.